spread to the barrier the step we win today we go top with games in hand that's it, man. That's it. Listen man, it's the running innit? That's what we call it. We're in it. We're in it for competition, so nothing's easy in life, man. Yeah, cheeks and that. Chance to go top again. The whole time you're top, it doesn't matter if it's points or goal difference, you have to be chased. And then the whole time you're top, as long as we win, every other result is fing relevant. <clears throat> I think we're past the point now of just going, oh, well, we won. Now I think it starts to the point where we have to f***ing start turning teams over. Mm -hmm. Clean sheets, performances, goals. It's on you. Let's go. Blue San Siro at night time, man. Same, same momentum. Good unbeaten run at the moment. We're in a, we're in a real good place, man. Real good place. Hunters Row, present, AGB, leading the army. Yeah, we're locked in, man. Put the dog on the leash. You know what I mean? Put the dog on the leash, my guy. Who's the fastest one here? In our team? Yeah, right now. Probably Reese. Reese, yeah? Second fastest. Second fastest, probably Nud. Who's the slowest? Slowest. Dino. Dino or this one? Dino's a cup game. Dino's up there with flat. I said Dino. Quick name. Wait, you're definitely not the fastest. You're definitely not the fastest. You're definitely not the fastest. You're up there. You're definitely not the fastest. King, why are you not saying? Me and Dream. So you've not been drunk. Nothing's going on behind the scenes. Me and Dream. There. It's clear that. What? Come on. Come on. Strapsy Dino. What's going on, man? League game, win today, we go top. What ain't, what ain't going on, bro? You tell me. Yep. Someone, someone saying, huh? what's Donny Jones doing? He's just over there, like. What, what nah, man, doing? I'm overseeing the whole facility, bro. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Big G's taken, taken two weeks off, bro. But I see man shopping in a Trust supermarket, me, man. So buying Big, food. big answers, the chairman's yeah. abroad. He's, he's on um, big business. But you know what, no, all jokes aside, Big G's doing Serious fantastic job. work. Serious work out in Uganda. Have you seen it? And I know Jewel, that's my, that's my brother. He's got a lot of his history in Uganda with his family. So I know that's something that's very close to him personally. And the same is said for Andy Ansa. Andy Ansa works with some of the biggest sports personalities in the world. And he's got his Don's hat. Yes, Jay. He's got his Don's hat on and he's, he's working. So everyone's working, bro. Big up all the supporters. We're expanding. The club is growing. We really need your support. And you've actually been there for us. So thank everybody. It's been a weird transition for myself. Used to being in the dugout. Farm brain you're not going to do something. Shut the fuck up, man. But I'm in punters' row now. I'm with the people. We're the people's club. No professional football. You can't touch them. You can touch us, bro. That's, that's true. <laughs> Depending on how she looks, I can let her touch me. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? But why, but, but why are you hanging around the goalkeepers? We got Mickey Blue Eyes, man. Oh, good, good to see you, man. Oh, good. Big game today, man. Got to wrap this team up. Mad, didn't it? Look how far we've come. I'm saying. From when we didn't have no kits. No, maybe we had no top played in a bib. No top, I played in a bib. Blue eyes. Baby's got blue Yes, boy, same again, man. Unbeaten run continues today, yeah? We need to win the leagues, we need to stay consistent, yeah? So today we work harder than them, we're better than them at football. So it will f***ing show after the hard work gets done, yeah? yeah. And be ruthless in front of the goal. Yeah. Myself, mm -hmm. then we'll f***ing score the goals when they come, yeah? Mm -hmm. Keep the boys at the back, keep a f***ing clean sheet, yeah? yeah? Stay solid, don't give away no stupid f***ing opportunities for them. You know, win the f***ing game, yeah? We're going to go top of the league today, yeah? Three, two, one, dance! What is an army without soldiers? What are the dons about our family? We literally could not be doing this non-league journey without the support of the dons family worldwide. Genuinely, what it does for us, we cannot explain. And for that reason, I will never commentate another SC Dons 11 aside game without picking up the VIDs. This week's shout outs, we got Emon Francis from London and Joseph Yobo. You heard right. Yobo Babayaro, the original SC Don, is a VID. 
So big up Yobbo. The family's global, I've been telling you. That's why this week we got a big up Jonathan Silla from Ontario in Canada and Caleb Figueroa from Boston, USA. Big up our US and Canadons. We've already told you that this season we refuse to aim low. That's why we want double figures for likes, 10,000 likes. Let's see if we can smash that target. And remember, we're chasing a quarter mil subscribers. So if you're watching now, just make sure, have a look and see if you're subscribed or not. If you're not, press that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, please join the family. So here we are, today's lineup, a start for Charlie Penny. Uh, also ones to watch as always, the boy Lefty just conducting. And the boy Diggers, for me, one of our most important players. We've got a strong bench as well. I'm seeing Dino and Zach Hanser on there. Massive three points up for grabs. Can't keep doing this, Donnie. Okay, then what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of SE Don's Non-League Football. Today, we return home to the Blue San Siro under the light 7.45 p.m. kickoff with nothing less than three points, the objective. Our opponents currently sitting in seventh place, FC Elmstead, three points behind the Dons. Talking of three points, three here today puts us top of the league. Feels familiar. Green So the duel commences, 1 minute 42 seconds on Bernard's watch. Diggers looks to his right, RP7 awaiting. Delivers the ball, lovely little pass as well. Delicate touch from Charlie Penny, loses it, gets it back. It's a free kick in a dangerous location. Free kick for the Dons. I'd be telling Fibs if I said I haven't seen RP7 do it before. Five minutes in, still the early sparring. Some of you are just here for the tackles, Deshaun knows it. Leaves one on James Calden, but referee plays advantage. Elmstead on the break. RP7, a seasoned fullback. And non league football stands up, collects the ball, comes out victorious. Plays one forward. The boy Deshaun collects, releases Nathan Palmer, one of the punters' favourites. <laughs> Why did you like Steph? Why did you like Steph? Excuse me? If you come to watch SC Dons, come and join us in Punter's Roll, a creative environment for the Dons Ultras. We randomly make up songs for the badge. Comment below. We need help with them lyrics. And I know why. Hey, hey, got a guy. We got a guy. We got a guy. It's non league football. Pushing shoves are a part of the decor. Get up. Get up. How's it? Is this thing? My boy Diggers. It's an honor to say I've traveled the world with him. But he's in love now. He's got a Cuban one with him. Told her he's a pro footballer. Asked me to leave in highlights of him. Obliged. Love it, man. Love it, man. 13 minutes, 25 seconds in. Don's beginning to grow in confidence in the game so far. Starting to get a hold of it. Good running behind from Nathan Palmer. Dangerous ball as well. Keeper's done well, to be fair to him. Uh, Elmsley looked to clear it away. Diggers is there to turn the kettle off. <laughs> Charlie Penny. Don't forget the name. I've seen it in the comments. Where is he, you ask? Truth is, he's had a slow start because he's been injured, but he's back now. They're calling him the non-league Alan Shearer. One nil up, 20 gone. Punters rolls alive. Chris, don't you move. Geek, enhance the footage. After the game, we received a tweet from some palace guy attacking our atmosphere. And little did we know he was in front of us the whole time. Exactly. Then goalkeeper gloves. <laughs> Can you play in goal? Huh? Can you play in goal? So approaching the 32nd minute, still 1 0 to the mighty Dons here under the lights at the Blue San Siro. It's deserved. I think we've been the better side, but they're on the break. 
and this happens. Yes! It's all gone quiet over here. It's all gone quiet over here. It's all gone quiet. It's all gone quiet. It's all gone quiet over here. So just like that, the game has changed. One apiece, Elmstead back in it. And then they catch our dog off the leash. Stupid dog. 36-58 on the Michael Buble. Lefty doing what he always does, conducting from the middle of the park. Picks out RP7. East lads one across for Nathan Barmer. Cuts inside as well, he's through on goal. Couldn't quite connect. I often ponder if Duty was born in South London, wore baggy jeans and was a part time model, would he look like Lefty? We understand what it takes. Absolute 2020 vision from the lad. Picks out Deshaun and Keeper does his bit. What a pass. 40 minutes on the clock, about five minutes left now of normal time. One apiece when we really feel like we should be higher than this. But this is what happens when you don't take your chances. You're always going to entertain dropping points. Nathan Palmer does well there, beats his man and strikes. That keeper's had a good game, to be fair. The punters were getting on to him. Uh, but he, I can't fault him. He's been well. He's been good, sorry. Anyway, Elm said on the break, uh, we eventually regain possession. We'll start again. 44 on the clock. Lefty up to his tricks again. How about that? Excellent pass. Questionable offside. I had to leave it in for the pass. Go down! And look who it is again. The boy lefty switches play, picks out RP7. He's got the eye of a hook. Picks out Charlie Penny. Oh. Great ball! Oh. Why are we lying to ourselves? Some of you are just here for the tackles. Oh. So a free kick for Elmstead now on the halfway line gets delivered in, dealt with by the Dons. And we're heading at half time, one apiece. What's going on here? <laughs> watching the game, mate. What's going on here? Watching the game. No, you're watching, watching the game. Watching the game. Are you injured or anything? Are you not? Injured? Oh, no. I'm, not, I'm, I'm coming back. I'm coming back, mate. Coming yes, back. I know you are, man. I'm coming back. Done, but you're going to put the physio in. Physio's done a good job. Yeah. Physio's done a good job yeah, still. No. Relax. Yeah, I keep playing ball. That's the only mistake we made in the game in the squad. <laughs> And then after that five ten minutes we panicked on the ball. Yeah. For five ten minutes. That's it. But I don't I don't know if there's anything else we can do other than being more ruthless. That's it. Lads, we know we're gonna get some cut out shit. Shit. I'm cut out shit. Goal. Yeah, but lads, we know we're going to get another goal. We know we're going to score another goal. We've got the players to do. We've got the players on the bench to do. We know we're going to score another goal. Stay relaxed. We won't concede another one. Go from that. Lads, we'll win the game. Just stay nice and relaxed. I'm not you are not given any God given right to turn up and smash <laughs> everybody just because of the badge that you're currently wearing. What this team continuously does is we score. And like Lefty's just said, we take chance after chance after chance. And you don't kill them off. And then what you do is you allow teams to stay in the game. The second that ball went, I was like, he scored. Because you don't bollock your fing team enough. You didn't do fing enough to fing stop it. The rest of you fing didn't do enough to slow the fing down. Pass the fing football more. Yeah. And you four, or you two, deal with a the fing nine. Because that's a team of fannies I've just watched. And I mean you. He's in here. And he men that. We need men that. Mm -hmm. get top of the league. Yeah. Come on, boys. Yeah. The steam train continues, ladies and gentlemen. Next week, we're back at the Blue San Siro taking on Faversham Strike Force. They're doing very well this season. It's going to be a tough game. Be there, 3 pm kickoff. Tickets available now, scdons.com forward slash tickets. They're also available on the gate, so don't panic if you can't get them online. We'll see you there next week. And Chris, before we head into the second half, a massive shout out to our family and our sponsors. German Doner Kebab, Capri Sun, and Maxi Nutrition. It's a massive project. So the second half begins, another 45 minutes of questions. Hopefully we can find an answer. RP7 relishing the challenge as he rises in the sky. Comes out victorious, knocks one forward to Deshaun, uh, cuts it back, uh, trying to decide is he going to whip one in there or not. It gives it back to the boy RP7. Small little uh, touch inside. Places it across to lefty. He's definitely going to pick out a pass. We know what he's about. It's a lovely little ball as well for Ainsley. He slaps it. It's cleared away. And Chris has a word of Zinchenko. Tell the view. Tell the view. Hi, Cubby. Hi, Cubby. Couple birds. Yeah. 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 Ye
yeah? Wait, 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 wait. Nah, listen. I'm How many more is he going to get, though? Why are you walking out? Why are you walking out? Why are you walking out? Why are you Why are you not here, though? You keep going over there. Warming up, man. I've got a missus. I don't give a sh. So it's a goal kick for Elmstead. Dark hearts for the boy Geek. He tries to put him off. Oi! Fair play to the keeps that hasn't phased him. He's bang one long. The diggers rises, but it's helped him from Elmstead. A blatant handball free kick. Little push and shove from Alfie. Hey, yo, here's this right one, Alfie. Alfie, boys. Alfie, boys. Fifty-five minutes on a duck and waffle, a bit similar to the first half. I believe that we have started better. I think we're controlling the possession. And here's a real controversial one. For me, this is onside. But he's giving it as offside. No, what offside? We're almost 60 minutes in on a cold night at the Blue San Siro. Said it in the first half, I'll say it again. Some of you are just here for the tackle. Love it, Scotty! Love it! I had to get to work! So a free kick it is then for Elm said he gets fired in by the number 15, and I tell you what, it's a massive save for the boy Albi. And then we see our first change as Charlie Penny comes off for Zinchenko. Dino's getting warm. DJ man, play something smooth. <laughs> Run it. Run it. Now when your energy is beginning to lower and there's 25 minutes left on a muddy pitch, the last person you want to see coming on is Jack Aldinho anyway. It's Deshaun, he's been released by Nathan Palmer. Cuts back onto his left foot, he strikes it. Oh! And another change for the Dons, off comes Diggers. On comes Zach Hansa. I need Diggers to clear up what he meant by this. Awesome. One thing I'm really beginning to love about non-league, it produces some real characters on the sideline. Yes! No! 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 Very dubious. Are you can see? Very dubious. I know what you're asking. It's one apiece and there's about just over 20 left to go. Dino's been on the pitch for a while. Why has he not infected the game yet? Zach can suppress him well. Why don't you roll yourself back? Because Dino's on it. Man, you can do it. Yeah. Hey, pay me my money, man. Don't ah. do Dino, I told you you score. We are double E, baby. We are double E. And there you have it, the Dons 2-1 up. That boy Dino yet again, the magician. And I must say, ever since we've been partnered up with Maxi Nutrition, he seems to have gained so much more strength. Let me show you. How many years have I been telling you that Zach Anser is the coldest number nine in non-league football? When that stupid dog fired the ball at 100 miles per hour into his feet, even left there to question how is he going to deal with it. We're talking about Zach Anser. Zach Anser! <laughs> 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 I 
final change for the Dons. On comes JJ. Off comes Nathan Palmer. Real team player. Always happy to come off for the badge. Now, if you remember in the build up to the kickoff, there was a conversation with the lads regarding who's the fastest at the club. The boy Dina wanted to put himself within the hat. Maybe he's right. Can you do it? EJ, I ain't never seen a swan move like that. I'm gonna need something smooth. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? You know he's rapid. And my arms are open wide. <laughs> it now just for the sun. What a player. We can say you, we can say you, we can say you sing it out. Have you ever seen James Calden play non league football? Punters Row have. Shut up, James! Hey, James! It's it, James! Gavin and Stacey, give us it! It's it, James! Yay, mate! It's it, James! Oh, James! We want Corden! We want Corden! We want Corden! <laughs> so, 94th minute, that's four minutes of stoppage time played. 4 1 to the Dons. Should be game in the bag, but if they get one back here, who knows? But the fence has cleared it well. So with the full time whistle about to go here at the Blue San Siro, it is going to finish SC Dons 4, FC Elmstead 1. And a massive three points taking us back to the top of the table. Legally, there's no one that has games in hand on us that can go above us. So it's a fantastic position to be in. Uh, wishing Elmstead the best for the season. Thank you to all the punters and everyone that came out to support. And we move on to the gaffer's words. Say that. Um, no we'll goal for the tally, fam. Okay. Jack, only ask for one, bro. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I got I only get one free. <laughs> and look at that. Look at the result. Still not happy. <laughs> that winner. <laughs> Chris, we got some ballers in the yeah, house. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, all the time, isn't it? <laughs> 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 The, the only negative, and you, and you know, there was no need to get stressed on equal. Yeah. We said it at half time, you went 1 0 up and you thought game done. And that naivety at times is going to be something that can potentially cost us. What you did was you listened to the instruction at half time, you were very positive, and it was one way traffic. I know people are frustrated. It's a fing difficult job being a gaffer having to pick players. I've got no problem with people being annoyed at that. But you've proved with the 11 that started and every sub that came on, you made an impact for the squad, which benefits the team. You know, when the team wins, it means we're f***ing top of the league again. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Three, two, one, dance!